good morning children welcome to english grammar class children today we are going to read very important topic tenses and today we will read present tense first of all see what is tense tense means time and how can we recognize time by the verb so tense of a verb shows the time of an action if the verb is given in present tense present form it is present tense if the verb is given in past form it is past tense actually there are only two tenses in english present and past future is not a tense but future can be expressed by using simple present present continuous will shall will shall both are uh, modal verbs and going to form we will discuss it later but just now let us see here present tense my dear children present tense is divided into total four sub parts simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous first of all let us take simple present now where it is used simple number 1 simple present is used to express habitual actions for example i get up at 6 o'clock children remember that in simple present we use subject and first form of the verb and object in first form of the verb we use when subject is first person second person and third person plural but when the subject becomes third person singular he she it ram then the verb takes either s or es so if subject is here he then it will become here he gets up at 6 o'clock okay i go to school but he goes to school remember that now number 2 yes number 2 simple present tense is also used to express universal facts for example the sun rises in the east it is a universal fact okay the sun sets in the west stars shine in night so these are all universal fact it is they are known universally it may read by all the people number 3 simple present tense is used to express future time also my dear children it means that we can express future time by using simple present tense for example the match starts at 9 am today my dear children here starts it is simple present but here 9 am today it means that actually it is exp- it is being expressed here future time it means that future action can be expressed by using simple present next point number 4 newspaper headlines my dear children any event that already took place in past time but in newspaper headlines only it is uh, simple present can be used for example india wins the match by 5 wickets actually this event already took place in past time but in newspaper headlines it will come in this way india wins the match wins okay so it is simple present now let us see next point number 5 proverb and saying simple present tense is also used in expressing proverb and saying for example a bad work man a man man fights simple present with his tools next scientific facts remember that children here they actually they never change that is why scientific facts are always mentioned in simple present water boils at 100 degrees celsius next in conditional sentences quite important it means that if condition is given it is there is there are three conditions in condition number 1 it is probable condition so in probable condition we use simple present for example if he works hard it is a condition works hard if he works hard what would happen the result will be he will pass so it is probable condition possible condition so in this condition we use simple present and simple future okay remember it now let us see it is very important children how to use negative 
sentences in simple present for example i take tea i is first person so when we are making its negative it will be in this way i do not take tea along with i we use helping verb do not there are two helping verbs here do not and does not so do not is used with i and we first person the second person you and third person plural they right and suppose if it is third person then it will become here he takes t we add as here so it its negative will be he does not take t when we use does not then here as will be removed take care and we use does not along with he she it or any proper noun singular so this is simple present tense